do 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 Hey guys, so this is my first video in like two months I think. And what better if it not what a better way to start it off than by playing Crash Bandicoot remastered. And uh so fucking cliche and boring because quite a few people have already done a like a few videos on this, but I don't care because this is my fucking get this is my let's play and I do what the fuck I want with it. So got this game ages ago. Completed all three games of course, because you know I'm not much of a fucking baller. But um I thought, you know what? I'll cut I'll fucking delete my save data for this game and I'll, I'll redo it, I'll redo it again, because it seems like it'll be a bit of a fun challenge, especially considering I'll be doing a Let's Play of it for you guys. Um, so, welcome to the first episode of my series of this fucking game. Well, it's going to be all three of them, because I'm going to play for all three of them as well. All the other two. Also, nice little way to debunk this um, urban gaming lift. Fuck, never mind, I can't fucking do it. I done fucked up on it. Ah, <sighs> okay, so... Basically, the myth is just like run into the um, run into the boxes, and whilst you've got your aku aku, and you should be fine, but unless you're me, you fuck it up, and yeah, that was pretty fucking stupid. So now I've got to um, you know do do it the manual way, where I jump on the boxes and possibly die. So one shit. Well, that fucked up already. Okay, let's go this way and do it all again, because I'm an idiot who can't do things properly, apparently. Ah, uh, feck. But, um, yeah, where have I been? Been dead, pretty much. There we go, that's how you fucking do it, laddies. That's how you do it. Ta da! Boosh! Done. Oh god, Crash, you're disgusting. I can't believe you would actually just vomit that up. So, yeah, I've, 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 done, I've just completed this level, haven't I? Uh, thankfully, I've also downloaded the um, free Slippery Climb DLC, so I don't have to bullshit my way, really, into doing shit. Okay, so, save. See, there's my other save for it. There we go. Put the save right there. Ta-da! Insanity Beach. There we go. So now we're on Jungle Rollers. Okay. By the way, yes, I'm on 74% because I can't get the gems for, to save my fucking life, okay? I'm that bad. Don't judge me, please. Um. Ah, fuck. I just realised I shouldn't have, um... Shouldn't have kept the autosave on. Because that done goofed. But honestly, I love the graphics of this game. Well, these three games, because personally, I think Vicarious Visions have done an amazing job. And for all those who are comparing this to fucking Dark Souls, I've never played Dark Souls. Because Crash Bandicoot, it was always difficult. It was always a pain in the ass when I was a child. It's still a pain in the ass now. And that's what I think they've done absolutely brilliantly. Because it's a pain in the ass still. I mean, just look at these motherfucking flowers. These always used to get me when I was a child. Also, I don't know what it is, but I feel like the weight of Crash has been kept the same as well, because he was always just heavy. And he is, he's still heavy now, but he's more bearable in this one. I think it's because I don't have to use the analog stick. I don't have to use the um, D-pad, so I'm, I don't have to use the D-pad anymore. Well, I can do, but I don't have to, which is good. <sighs> Let's go! I also feel like... Um, oh, fuck's sake. I think... Aku Aku doesn't laugh, he's infin- uh, like, when you- when you get, like, invincibility mode for a few seconds, I think it doesn't last as long as it used to do. But, I'm not complaining because, it's still great! I uh, honestly have, like, no complaints about these games. Well, that's a lie, I, I complain about, like, constantly fucking dying all the time because I'm actually that shit. But, this is beautiful right here. Just look at the beauty on this fucking game, man! Why, I don't know why I'm sucking this game's dick so much, it's just, it, it has to happen. Because I, I, I was constantly fucking raving about this game for like, months before it came out. And I'm still raving about it now. Just because of how fucking, because like, it's amazing. 
Let's get some more lives. I realise how annoying that must have been, uh, Mr. Three Boxes, because you need to um, you need to get a gem later on in the game. Great, but you missed three boxes, jackass. So I think I might just do it so I've got three or four levels per episode, depending on how long it takes me to do them. Because for all you guys who know, Stormy Ascent is a bitch. Stormy Ascent makes me want to fucking jump off a cliff and shoot myself in the brain with a rapid fire shotgun. Hot damn! That shit is annoying. But, um, yes. We're at the Great Gate. I think Donald Trump would love this because. But it's not, in fact, a wall, it's a gate. So, we might not love it as much because it's not a wall. But, enough of the satirical comments. Actually, no. Satire is my thing. Satire is actually my thing. So, fuck it. We're going with the satire. What? Go. Go, Power Rangers. So that film came out this year, didn't it? What is it? It was good? I have no idea because I haven't fucking watched it. Uh, another film that's recently come out is a fucking emoji movie. Apparently that's got really bad ratings. But to be honest, it's a film about emojis. What more can you expect from it? Can you expect it to be fucking grade A filmmaking? Of course you fucking can't. It's an animation film about emojis. And the purpose which they apparently serve. Which is none. They don't have a purpose. They're a fucking bunch of, like, pixels on your phone. You know, I don't care. I don't care about that shit. That shit is fucking trash, bro. And it's clear by the reviews that it is trash. These motherfuckers and their fucking shields. God damn. Speaking of which, I, I, I just... Speaking of films and stuff I haven't really, like, watched properly before. I only recently watched Ant-Man. Ant-Man was supposedly a really good film, and I watched it, and I can agree on it. I can agree with that. It's quite decent. But it's not the best Marvel film I've seen. What would be the best Marvel film I've seen? Uh, hoo, uh, hoo ha ha Shark bait, hoo ha ha Um, nah, but, um, it'd probably be Spider-Man Homecoming, actually. As much as I love Spider-Man 2, do not get me wrong, that film is like fucking, um, is like a fucking masterpiece. I love Spider-Man Homecoming. That film is amazing. I just realised how many pe how many dicks I'm like sucking, whether it be games dicks or film dicks or Tom Holland dicks or any other dicks. I'm sucking too many dicks in this episode. <laughs> Jesus, what the fuck is wrong with me, man? I feel like I've lost the will to live because I've just lost however many boxes. God damn. Oh, congratulations! Great, but you missed nine boxes. Well done, fuckhead. Not my fault. I'm a fucking bandicoot. But we won't go into that now, will we? Because we're moving on to the next stage. And what is the next stage, my good sir? Well, it's actually boulders. I have a feeling that this could have been made a lot harder if I hadn't have played this game so much when I was a child and completed it in less than a day on when when it came out because I got this on day of release and oh my good Jesus I was so unsociable for like hours on end and I stayed up all night to complete these first the first two games I think it was yeah I think I completed Cortex Strikes back in, in the same in the same night as well I've don't quote me on that because I don't want to be bullshitting you I don't want to be bullshitting you lovely people, okay, but I think I may have completed the first two games in the first day it was released. And for all those that are like, oh, that must mean that it's easy and it's not like Dark Souls, well, it sure as fucking hell was not easy. I think I gave them over, I think I gave them over like four times. Good Jesus. Okay, so 14 out of 16 boxes. Okay. Also, I remember playing this game with my parents when... Because they, cause they, they, they grew up on this. They, well, they didn't grow up on it, but they've watched me grow up on these games, and they remember all the good memories that they had whilst that, whilst I played it as well. So they were constantly asking me, Connor, can you play it with us as well? And of course I did, because we had so many great memories playing it, and oh my Jesus Christ, it felt so nostalgic. Speaking of which, here's more. Here's another gem. Ta-da! Oh, I love it when it does this. Ba ba da ba. 
What is it? Ba da ba. I love that. That's just brilliant. Ba da ba. <laughs> He's great. This, this is good. I love that. That's some good shit, man. Some good shit. So we'll just get through another, um, we'll have to go through another f few missions before we can verse off against Papu Papu. Oh wait, no, never mind, we'll, we'll verse against him after we complete upstream. So I may have just completed six missions in one episode. Ooh, wow, that's, that's good. <laughs> damn. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Like, god damn, I feel, I feel good about myself. I'm doing some, I think that, also that is where you can do time trials. Before you ask, I'm not going to do the time trials because I fucking hate doing them in Crash 2 and Crash 3. Okay. Okay, that's just some weird shit, man. Bef by the way, I've just, I've got to make this a thing that, before I start, um, before I start the Let's Play on Crash 2 and 3 that I need to save, well, do the auto save thing on both of my... Um, other saves as well because I missed my auto save thing on here because I restarted it and it auto saved. Fuck. That made no sense whatsoever. But that's not important right now. What's important is getting upstream. <laughs> uh, that was fucking. Sh that was fucking horrendous, but that was funny. Okay, leave me alone. I got 20 lives, motherfucker. I just realized how un how uninterestingly funny that this this, this gameplay is for you guys because I'm just flying through the missions, seeming as if I have like no difficulty with it whatsoever. However, it's very difficult. Okay, go go, Power Rangers. There we go! Haha, <laughs> I don't know what all the grunts were for, but still, haha, <laughs> fuck it! <laughs> oh, my life is over, my life is horrible. <laughs> when, um, I was a lot younger and, and recently, I never actually realized why I missed three boxes, but I remembered now because there was a secret little gem area that you needed to get to, and you couldn't get to it unless you had got the topaz, and I was like, shit, where am I supposed to go? And then I remember seeing these fucking things, and it made a lot more sense to me, and it just made me very sad. So, it wasn't very fun. But you missed three boxes, jackass. Oh my god, what's going on? Okay, so, this is... Papu Papu. We're going to do Papu Papu, and then I'm going to call it a hit. I'm going to call it an end, because... Let's be honest, I've gone for six, I've gone for six missions already, and it's just, it's too much, guys. Look at this fat motherfucker, look at this dude, look at his belly button, god damn. Wait, hang on. Brrr. Haha, oh god, that's a cracking view, that, <laughs> Come on, you fat fuck. At least do some damage to me, okay? Come on. Papa, do some kind of challenge. There we go. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> fat fuck. I'm glitching into your body. Bonk. Technically, you can't do that. But, that was the end of the first, um... First episode of Crash Remastered with me, Spaffy Munchgump, and I hope you guys enjoyed because I sure as hell had a good time making this episode, especially after two months, nearly three months of being inactive as shit on this channel. So yeah guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye guys. <laughs>